Tech Tip, Centrifugal Pumps and Variable Frequency Drives by the John Brooks Company. The performance of a centrifugal pump can be adjusted by changing the impeller diameter or the impeller speed. Today we will be discussing the latter. First, let's look at alternating current or AC electrical motors. The synchronous motor speed is calculated with this formula where F is the frequency of the alternating current and P represents the number of poles per electrical phase within the motor. When the alternating current has a frequency of 60 Hz, which is the standard in North America, common synchronous motor speeds are 3600 RPM for a two-pole motor, 1800 RPM for a four-pole motor, and 1200 RPM for a six-pole motor. It must be noted the actual motor speed will be slightly less than these synchronous values due to slip. If we now take a 4-pole motor and apply 30 Hz instead of 60 Hz, its new synchronous speed will be 900 RPM, which is half of the full 60 Hz synchronous speed. Remember, the actual speed will be slightly less than the synchronous due to slip. So, if we can adjust the electrical frequency, then we can adjust the motor speed. This is exactly what a variable frequency drive, known as a VFD, does. Unfortunately, as the motor reduces in speed, its available power is also reduced proportionally. As an example, a 10 horsepower motor running at half speed, 30 hertz instead of 60 hertz, only has half the power available. In this case, the motor has effectively five horsepower available instead of the original 10. Now let's get back to pumps. In this example, the maximum power consumed while pumping a water-like fluid is six horsepower at 875 RPM. As noted before, this 10 horsepower motor running at half speed, 30 Hertz, only has five horsepower available. The motor might be able to perform at this six horsepower duty if its service factor allows for it but it would not be recommended. Most likely the motor will trip out on high amperage. Now let's look at the same example, but remove the variable frequency drive and instead use belts and pulleys to go from 1750 RPM motor speed to 875 RPM pump speed. The pump still needs six horsepower, but now the motor is running at full speed, 60 Hertz. Therefore the motor has all its 10 horsepower available. There are some cases where using both VFDs and pulleys together makes sense. Let's say we wanted to vary the flow of the pump during operation. We can use the VFD to make the fine adjustment about the 875 RPM speed curve. If this adjustment stays small, then the lost available motor power will also be small. 